Hold on, Lacko, Benny. Okay, then the next thing that we are going to look at is the reduction of alcohol, aldehyde, ketones, and carboxylic acids. So when you have aldehyde, ketones, carboxylic acids, and alcohols, and are treated with the hot concentrated acidic acids or hydrochloric acids, in the combination with red phosphorus, and it reduces oxygenated compound are produced. So you see number one, the first thing here, the phosphorus is are used, and at a temperature of 150 degrees centigrade, hydrogen iodides react with uh, it react with uh, alcohol to produce alkene plus iodine plus water. So the most important thing here we need to understand what are the conditions of the reaction. One, phosphorus must be added, and the temperature must be 150 degrees centigrade. And uh, then the reactants, which are hydriodic acids plus alcohol, will now produce the alkene plus water molecule and iodine molecule. And this is another reaction, or this is an example of the reactions where we have uh, methane, or uh, sorry, methanol react with hydrogen iodides or hydrodioic acids, and methane is produced, plus three molecules of iodine and water. Then we also have another reactions in the case of aldehyde. We have aldehyde react with four molecules of hydrogen iodide in the presence of phosphates and a temperature of 150 degrees centigrade and alkenes is also produced. And a typical example of the member of aldehyde, we have ethanol. So this ethanol react with four molecules of hydrogen iodide and ethene molecules is produced plus iodine molecules and water. Then the next one is for ketone. So ketone also reacts with four molecules of hydrogen iodide flows uh, in the presence of a temperature of 150 degrees centigrade in the presence of sulfate. Phosphorus alkenes is produced too. Also, then this is a typical example of a member of ketone. We have propanone. So propanone now reacts with four molecules of iodine to produce propene. And then for the carboxylic acid, carboxylic acid also reacts with hydrogen iodide to produce alkene. So we have ethanoic acids to produce ethane. So what are the importance of this reaction? Hydri hydroidic acid is an effective reducing agent. So it's a very effective reducing agent that are used in this reaction. And this method is used to produce higher alkenes from carboxylic acid obtained from hydrolysis of fat. We know that we have alkenes with a 20 number of carbon, 10 number of carbon, 15. So we mostly use these reductions of aldehyde, ketones, alcohol in producing higher alkenes. That is those alkenes with higher molecular weights. Then another types of reaction, we have Wood reaction. A Wood reaction is when two molecules of alkyl halide are treated with sodium metal in the presence of dry ether and higher alkenes are produced. This type of reaction is named as wood reaction. So you see the ether, in the presence of ether, two molecules of alkyl halide react in the presence of sodium to produce alkene. And we have typical example of two molecules of metal bromide react with hydrogen, sorry, react with sodium to produce ethane plus two molecules of 
um, sodium bromide. So the most important thing that we need to understand here, dry ether is mostly used in facilitating the reaction. So these are the mechanisms of water reaction and the mechanisms, the free radicals, we have free radicals mechanisms and ionic mechanism. So in the free radicals mechanisms in this, in this type of reaction, there is a tact of a sodium atom on alkyl group like methyl bromides and form a methyl free radical. And then two, methyl free radicals combined to give ethene. So you see the first thing now in the presence of the ether, step one, methyl bromides in the presence of uh, sodium, methyl free radicals are generated. And in the second step, another methyl free radicals are also generated. And these two molecules of methyl radicals are now react together to produce ethene. So this is the free radicals mechanisms. Then the second one is ionic mechanisms. So this involves the intermediate formation of methyl alkyls. In this methyl bromide react with two sodium atoms to produce methyl sodium as an intermediate and sodium bromide. When this methyl sodium react with another molecules of methyl bromide, then ethane, then ethane is produced. So you see the first step, we have methyl bromide plus sodium. Then we have methyl sodium ion plus sodium ion bromide ion. And this methyl sodium ion react with uh, methyl bromide to produce ethene. So this is a unique mechanisms. So what are the importance of this reaction? When the front alkyl halide are taken in this reaction, then it produces a mixture of alkyl halide. Then the order of the reactivity of the alkyl halide is always in this order. It reacts, uh, alkyl chloride react less than the uh, alkyl bromide and alkyl bromide react less than the alkyl iodides. And then the last one, also another types of the reactions or forces that are used in producing alkenes is the using Greek natri agent. When you said Greek natri agent, it simply means alkyl halides or alkyl magnesium halides. Alkyl must come first, then magnesium plus halogens. Examples of this Greek natri agent we may have like uh, methyl magnesium chloride. So these are that. So when we say hydrolysis of Greek natri agent, it means that a water molecules is used to hydrolyze the Greek natri agent and alkenes are produced. Look at uh, this one. We have also a coal based method. A coal, a, a coal based method is when a concentrated solution of sodium or potassium salt of carboxylic acid is electrolyzed. So it's a process where um, alkenes are produced, but through electrolysis. You see, we have like two molecules of sodium ethanoid, then plus water, ethan are produced, plus two molecule of carbon dioxide plus two molecules of sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen at the cathode. So it means that the ethane are usually produced at the anode. So we need to understand in the coal based method, coal based method is an electrolytic method and alkene members or alkene families are usually produced in the process at anode. Okay, so thank you for listening.